What is up guys welcome to another video that geeky guy here and today we'll be looking at a briar blitz deck that i took to a skirmish and got a top eight with so basically we're gonna go through and just understand how this deck works and so on if you've seen some of my builds on briar especially for blitz it's not going to be too different but uh let's see how it goes so we have rosetta iron reef skull cap crown uh, crown of providence both crowns um, Grasp, uh, Null Runes, and then uh, Snapdragon Scalers. So, uh, Crown and Null Rune Gloves and Boot is going to be an option. I would say I would prefer to actually go Crown, uh, Rope, and Glove against um, Kano. So, you have AB3 at least against Kano, while for, um, while for Islander, on the other hand, I would prefer to go instead Crown and Glove. So, um, you could, AB2 is basically sufficient for uh, Islander. Now we're gonna take a look at the cards uh, because the others are pretty standard uh, like Snapdragon and then so between Skullcap and Crown I actually asked my uh, friend Saifu uh, some re advice regarding this so um, so Crown uh, if you're going to be going against classes that you think you're not going to have a lower health so uh, maybe classes like uh, Oldheim and stuff where their health is generally going to be higher. So Crown is always a two block. So that's basically his advice towards me because he does play a lot of Briar and have pretty good success with it. So I, I also try to add a Crown into my deck build. Now if we go along with the deck list, uh, we are looking at Bramble Spark. One copy of that um, just because we have so much earth card, uh, we would want to leverage diffusing and then two copies of mount if you could get the mount out it's pretty good two copies of e strike uh, erase phase and two copies of exude so exude is pretty good uh, against uh, all the wizards because it forces them to actually uh, play out anything they want um, in response of exude being played if not they will miss out the window as long as you don't break the combat chain and then Erase Phase is good against uh, all the recent classes that require fusings and stuff. Uh, it is even good against uh, Draconic classes. and st So uh, overall a decent card, uh, a decent replacement for CNC. You'll see that I do not play CNC in Blitz because uh, just that the Crown user can easily just throw the Arsenal away. I mean, just shuffle the Arsenal away with their Crown. So Erase Phase is a better option. One copy of Lightning Press for those cheeky plus trees. Um, two copies of Nimbalism for their buff. And then two copies of Plunder Runs. Two copies of Lightning Search if you can play out the afternoon Arsenal. It's going to be excellent. Uh, Rebel, uh, decent card for the go again. Two cards for the Rebel of the Rune, Rebel in Runeblood. Especially useful if you are going against aggro classes that refuse to run uh, now Rune. So this is going to finish them off. One copy of CG of Suffering, uh, it does happen a few games where my opponent was at 1 and they do not now run any Null Rune, I just kill them off with this. Two copy of Smash, two copy of Scar, two copy of Swarming Gloomville. So Gloomville, uh, at, it worst, uh, at its worst, you can actually pitch a blue, create a Rune Shan to give it go again. And then we have two copy of Vigor Rush, play a non-attack, this has go again. And then come to our blues, we have Autumn's Touch, Force of Nature. Um, if you can play it out in conjunction with Mount, it's going to be a crazy, crazy turn. Um, Earth Law Surge, Sting of Sorcery, one copy of that just to annoy your opponent with uh, this uh, one Arcanes. Especially if you are going wide, it's going to be pretty useful. And then Tomb of Hours, and then with Earth, so Tomb of Hours, if you have a bad, bad arsenal, you want to cycle that out. And then um, even if uh, you have like a Plunder Run in your arsenal, you can always pitch this. Uh, so this is especially useful if you have all non-attack cards in your hand and you kind of want to recycle your hand and you have an arsenal so you can do that and one copy of gorganian tome if you're going against a number of mirror match just hope that you either play the gorganian tome second or you just play it before you close out the game before your opponent gets to play his tome his or her tome so anyway guys, that's the decklist. I'm going to leave the decklist down in the description below. Do support me on Patreon. Do like, subscribe. All the support is very much appreciated. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.